Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to print out grade verifications. So the first thing you need to do is log into PowerSchool. I'm logged in as Miss Carlson because she let me use her login. Um, and this is what your screen's going to look like when you log in. Uh, you need to click on Power Teacher Pro. And it'll bring you to this screen. So to print your grade verifications, you're going to go down on the left and click on Reports. And then you're going to click on Score Sheet Report. Um, it's going to open up this, and this doesn't originally say grade verifications. I had just popped that in there because I did a test run before I recorded, but it'll say something like score sheet report. Change that to grade verifications. Um, and then down here under classes, so Ms. Crosland team teaches, so her classes look a little bit different than yours. But in the past, you had to run a grade verification for each subject. I'm not going to make you do that for this because um, it doesn't really work that way. You're just going to click here and select all other classes. You don't want to select homeroom because there's no grades in homeroom. Um, so you're going to select other classes. And so all those are going to be selected for you. For you, it might be all the subjects for team teachers. It'll be just both of their sections for their subjects. And you're going to leave all this the same. Um, it's going to be T1 this time for term one. But if you're watching this for term two, term three, or term four, you'll just change that depending on what nine weeks it is. And then the only other thing you need to change is go to format. And um, you can go down and you want the page break between classes. I think that's already checked for you, but make sure that's checked. And then down here, you need to make sure that signature line is checked. You want a signature line on there on the page. And then you'll click run report. And it'll run it and it says it's been queued. So you're going to go up to your, to your reports tab, click reports queue. And you see she's got a score sheet report. And then she clicks on that and it downloads. I'm not going to open it up because it has student names on it and I'd have to blur them out. Um, it does look a little different from last year. Um, it, it's pretty much the same, just the format's a little different. Uh, the only thing is when we run all of the subjects like this, the signature line looks like it's only on the last page. Please, please, please sign every page of the grade verifications and date them just like we have in the past, even if the signature line doesn't pop up um, for all of them. Let me know if you have any questions at all.